That ain't it. That's blue magic. I can oh, tell. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm, magic. You can feel it and tell. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to see it. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you sound like that. Who's that one that I said? Our future, right? Get over it. You sound I'm like sorry. Russell. Yeah, that was a crazy laugh at the end of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was so you. Yeah. That was Denise. You forgot? That was Denise laughing. Oh, Denise Harris? Yeah. His name is Mike? I'm Mike, yeah. I'm Mike. Hey, Mike. Introduce yourselves. Um, he's Russell. Introduce yourself. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. This, this goes on all the time. I'm Stuart Bascom. I'm Russell Patterson. And I'm John McClain. <laughs> From Die Hard. Die Hard. Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> I'm telling you something. <laughs> you no, I'm Leroy Burgess. I'm Russell Patterson. I'm but, Stuart Bass. But I got again. a mic, so I don't need that. I don't need that back there. Have a mic. I have a mic. He has a mic. Yeah. So how are you today, Russell Patterson? I'm, I'm wonderful. How are you? Oh, <laughs> and, and you are? We're Black Ivory. Collectively. You're gonna edit this, right? Yeah, no, don't edit all his parts on them. All right, come on. No, this is. No, what? What? Who is you? Yes. Oh, um, that's, uh, oh, that's uh, right. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, we forgot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, on November 11th, 2011, we released our seventh album, uh, the first album in close to 30 years. It's entitled Continuum, uh, and you know we're pretty proud of you know the, the results that you know. It's got 11 songs on it, 11, 11, 11, 11, <laughs> so. And I'm, I'm going to let Leroy, a theme. A theme. let Leroy tell you a little bit about uh, how, right. this, how this album came about. <laughs> We're walking down a yellow brick road. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Where's this uh, gonna be played we actually started performing uh, again together in 95, and um, uh, some years later, we decided, you know, the next natural progression was for us to begin working on an album. So around 2002, we started working, uh, you know, working on songs, throwing them out, you know, seeing what's right, finding out the right feel for the album. Finally, we arrived at these last 11 tunes, and uh, uh, Grace of God put it out November 11th, and uh, very, very happy about the way it's being received. Okay. Now, um I mean, we all know the classic tunes. I mean, how, how is this album similar or different? Oh. Um, it's similar in that uh, the sound of our voices are still the same, thank God. And people have said that they, they think the harmony is, you know, our harmony is unique, and they think that the new album still conveys that. Um, where it's different is that we try to be current in you know, keep up with the musical sounds of today and still pay homage to what we used to do. Okay. And, it's, and it's all the original members? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know all original members. members. Okay. And so all original members, what, what do you think the key to the longevity is? <laughs> Lots of old alcohol. <laughs> uh, <laughs> On his part. <laughs> No, um, go ahead and answer that, too. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, I'm starting to drink, we, <laughs> <laughs> You know, we, uh, we recognize uh, the difference in personalities among us. You know, we, you know during the time that, uh, our early years, when we were on the road, most of the time we traveled, we were all in the car together, we joked around, hung out a lot. Um, when we weren't performing and on the road, uh, we would travel back and forth between the boroughs, going to see other people's shows, riding the subways, uh, joking and laughing, usually messing with other passengers, you know, much to their dismay. But, um, you know, we over the years we grew close. There were, now, there was a time when we weren't together as a group. Um, uh, close well, to 20, well, we about 20 friends. years. We were still friends, but yeah. for 20 years we weren't performing as a group. Um, or recording, and uh, it it really brought the death of our manager, the previous manager, Leonard Adams, uh, to get us talking again about coming together as a group and starting to perform. Um, but I think the key to our being able to stay together and work together 
even be, regardless of our differences, is the fact that we're st still young at heart. And we still kid around a lot, we still joke around a lot. Um, even when we get on each other's nerves, um, we don't take it too seriously. You know, because you know, I think we recognize the important thing is for us to continue doing what we love to do. And that's working together as Black Ivory, doing music. <laughs> Tissue. No, I love you the same I love these guys. No. Um, I just want to add, um, uh, we are together now because we've remained friends all these many years and uh, through, you know, differences and disparities, uh, we have continued to be in contact with each other, call each other, and support each other. Um, uh, even during the period that I was not an active member of the group, this is like from 77 to 95. Um, but at the same time, we continue to work together, write together, and uh, support each other. Uh, so it was just the next natural progression for us to reunite as a group and within this unit uh, to, you know, bring as much joy as we can bring into the world uh, as, as the brothers that we are. No, Chad didn't come back yet. Is that Chad right there? No. Yeah, Chad, where's your album? Oh, Chad. I told you he was going to leave it in the car. No, he didn't. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, there you go. I'll fly off. Uh, all right. And then, uh, all right, because a lot has changed, you guys. Young at heart, but this, this is... Uh, no, leave it, no, leave it. Leave yeah, it he doesn't want to tear it. Yeah, don't tear it. Yeah. Yeah, you can leave it down. All right, so, all right, so who's who here? This is um, Russell Patterson. This is Stuart Basco. And this is myself, Leroy Burgess. <laughs> and pan up, and this is what they so look he's... like, and this is what happened to them. <laughs> <laughs> After years and years of singing. I look the same, I don't know what I'm <laughs> Stop bragging. I know. I, I, I see an absence of hair. Uh -huh. Okay, well, it depends on where you look at. Look, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! See, Mike, why you get us started? No, the the you. We need that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, well, tell, tell us about this album. I mean, I know Patrick Adams was involved. Patrick Adams was our. Um, uh, he's the, well, for lack of a better word, he's the person that discovered us. He was our first producer, our first manager, and our first mentor. Um, when we did the Don't Turn Around album, we worked together in creating the songs. Uh, Stuart and I, our very first uh, commercial composition was You and I. Um, so Patrick gave us the opportunity to get our, ourselves out there. And uh, we're eternally grateful to that brother for what he's, he's done to get us out. Okay. And um, another thing that, that, you know, a lot of people do know about us and don't turn around uh, the song is that we recorded it here uh, at Sigma Sound Studios. Sigma Sound Studios. You know, we recorded that and uh, I keep asking you questions here. Mm -hmm. our, first, our first two records. Okay. No, I, think, I think we have enough. I know folks are waiting.